You can set your sauce up and poach your shrimp. Okay, it's kind of the easier way. Shrimp, really, a minute, a minute 20, is really all you need to do to cook it, okay? Um, the beautiful thing too with this shrimp with the head on, you're gonna get a lot of that natural flavor, which will not only flavor your sauce, but it'll also color it too. You're gonna get a nice orange color as well. Um, what I like to do with dishes such as this is just give it a flash real quick. Hot pan, flash hit it, it's still raw on the inside. After you do that, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of the shrimp stock, you're going to get that flavor come out of it, then you let your shrimp rest. Finish your sauce, because you're going to add a little bit more stock. You get your sauce right, season the sauce right, and then you can add your shrimp right at the last moment, boom, right to the plate, and then it's ready to go. And, and that way, too, you're not worried about, is it done yet? Is it cooked yet? Oh, my sauce isn't thick enough yet. You get your sauce right, you get your shrimp cooked at the same time, and then all you're doing is garnishing. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to start off with our hot pan. Okay, front row. <laughs> Just warning you. No, it's not that bad. Okay. And then always tilt your pan so your oil is down. Then you add it at the top. You're never going to get splashed. Okay. So as you can see, they're already starting to color. All right. It does too. And you know what? You're going to get, and you'll see... A lot of the little jus come out of the shrimp itself too. So, boop, that goes right back in. All right? Now, another little trick, I got the, the plate chilled. Just so that it kind of stops the cooking. Okay, so that goes on a chilled plate. All right, and then now, you can do it two ways. Um, if you, you could deglaze it with the shrimp in, right? You deglaze a touch of wine. This recipe doesn't call for any wine or anything, or you could deglaze it after. I'm going to deglaze it after just because I don't want to overcook the shrimp, okay? The size of the shrimp will kind of determine how much you want to cook it, all right? If you deglaze it and you hit it with that, with that stock or that sauce, that, just that steam will, in essence, cook it all the way, all right? So now we're going to hit this. Okay, season, going to let that come to a nice rapid boil. I don't know if you can smell just that, the shellfish, yeah, you can already smell it. So one other way too, as you're making your shellfish stock with the heads, with the shells, to intensify that flavor as well, same thing, immersion blender prior to putting it in your chinois. Hit it with the immersion blender, burp, all right? Pass, you can pass it once or twice. Pass through a thicker chinois than your finer um, chinois. Um, and that flavor intensifies just by putting it through the, uh, the blender. Okay, now we're gonna add in our beautifulness. And as with the fire, you can always limit the amount of heat just by lifting it up. So it just, with the induction, it just completely shuts it off. So it goes from like 400 to zero immediately. So and then you can see it's already nice, thick, beautiful. You're gonna want it at this point, it's almost a little too thick. So I'm gonna cut it so to touch more stock. Very good. A little bit of salt. One more hit, touch of white pepper. Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to turn your heat off. Now this recipe calls for cheese, all right? Parmesan cheese, fresh grated Parmesan, always at the end. You can always limit your cheese. If you don't want the cheese, for me personally, I oftentimes, more oftentimes than not, will not put cheese and seafood together just because of the delicateness of the seafood. Um, cool or shrimp, very nice, strong, great flavor. You can take, the, you can take a little bit of cheese, so. And we're going to be true to the Peruvian flavors. I'm sure they probably did not use Parmesan, but it, it is a, um, they do have a Spanish cheese. Manchego is also another cheese that would work well, um, just because it is a semi, you know, it's semi-firm, pretty, um, one of the harder cheeses for you to grate. 
Let's let that fold and melt. We're gonna add our shrimp. Bring that up to temp. Right at the end here, we're gonna fold in our potatoes. I've got the nice Yukons, nice and chunky. And then we have our Okinawans, Parisian style with the melon baller. And always too, whenever you add another component to the dish, as that will take flavor out, you always wanna salt it just a little bit. Those potatoes will take some of the flavor out of your dish. And then when we're ready to plate.